Hello children, how are you all? I hope you are doing well. So, I welcome you in my English class. This is your first class of new session that is 2021 and 22. I welcome you all in English class. So, today we are going to start chapter 1 of your textbook Honeysuckle. So, first of all, I would like to tell you that there are three books in your class 6 English. So, first is Honeysuckle, that is your textbook and uh, textbook in English for class 6. This is NCRT book and uh, the second book is Supplementary Reader, that is a pact with the sun. Okay, children? A pact with the sun. So, there are two textbooks. And the third one is, that is, Mastering Grammar book. This is your third book. So, children, you can see there are three books in class 6. First is Honeysuckle. Second is A Pact with the Sun. This is your supplementary reader book. And the third one is Mastering grammar book. So children, today we are going to start this your uh, first book that is your textbook uh, and this is Honeysuckle. So today we are going to start first chapter that is uh, who did Patrick's homework. So there are 10 chapters in this book. The first step, chapter is uh, who did Patrick's homework. Second one is how the dog found himself uh, a new master. And third is Taro's reward. And along with these chapter, you can find poems also. That is in first chapter, you can find a house, a home. And uh, in second chapter, you can find a uh, the kite and in third chapter the coral and uh, fourth chapter is an Indian American woman in a space Kalpana Chavala and along this chapter you can find a poem that is beauty and fifth is different kind of school and the poem is where do all the teachers go six is who I am Seventh is fair play. Eighth is a game of chance. And ninth chapter is desert animals. And tenth is banyan tree. So children, today we are going to start our first chapter. That is who did Patrick's homework. So children, this is your chapter number one and this is your book, Honey Suckle. So children, before going to start our chapter, I would like to share one thought because this is our first day. Every day is another chance to screw everything up again. Children, this is your new day, new beginning in this new session. So children, let's start with full enthusiasm and zeal. So before going to start reading of this chapter and explanation of this chapter, chapter 1, I would like to tell you about author. Who wrote this story? Who did Patrick's homework? The author name is Carol Murray. And you can see its full name. Her full name is Annie Carol Murray. I would like to tell you about something about her. Okay, children. So, uh, this is an American educator, writer and publisher also. 
and she wrote many stories for children. I would like to tell you about uh, her birth and everything. Now, Annie Carol Murray, born on 12 July 1871 and, uh, and died January 20, 1961. So she was named Annie after an aunt and officially changed her name to Annie in her 50s. To avoid confusion with the Annie E. Murray, another woman who had already done wonderful uh, work, in publishing and writing. So uh, she had a children's library service for the New York Public Library System. Uh, Murray wrote uh, Nicholas, a Manhattan Christmas story, and one of the uh, two runners up for the 1925 Newbery Medal. So, a uh, wonderful writer, wonderful author. And this story, you can find her wonderful work. So children, this is a story about a boy who is very naughty and a lazy boy named Patrick. And in this story, you can learn a lot from this story because this boy is never ready to study never ready to read his books but at the end of the story you can find that magic will happen and this magic will bring this boy in a new beginning or you can say a new uh, character and he transformed at the end of the story in a new boy not a new boy but he just transformed into a very uh, laborious very hard-working very studious boy so children in this story we can learn a lot so I'm going to read first paragraph of this story that Patrick never did homework too boring, he said. He played hockey and basketball and Nintendo. Instead, his teachers told him, Patrick, do your homework or you won't learn a thing. And it is true, sometimes he did feel like an enormous, but what could he do? He hated homework. So first of all, in uh, your page one, you can find that do you like homework? I think many children don't like homework because homework seems like a very boring thing and uh, they are not ready to do their homework uh, full heartedly because it's uh, boring and you can say very rigid uh, work to do all the time. So if the homework is exciting or something different, so the children uh, will enjoy in it. But if it is a daily routine and the teacher used to give reading and writing and learning, so children are not ready to uh, do this. So that is why the homework many children do not like. So second question that is, do you do it yourself or do you get help? Yes, children, because uh, uh, many children are going to uh, learn or study from tuition. And tuition, I mean to say that some tuition master or um, tuition teacher is there so they uh, are helping in their homework or their parents are helping in their homework so that is why the second question is arises do you uh, do your it's yourself or do you get help 
so what homework do you usually have so these type of the question it is only and only for you that uh, this is very personal that uh, do you like homework or uh, you are getting help from any other person uh, while doing your homework so these are the questions which already ask in this very uh, starting line so the first paragraph is telling us the character of this boy patrick patrick was never ready to complete his homework and that is why the teachers those who were teaching this boy were you can say they are very irritated with this boy because he is not ready to complete his work at all and in this story you can see that patrick never did homework never did it means he used to not doing his homework so that is why never did his homework it is written too boring for patrick it is too boring thing it is you can say it is not an interesting thing it is boring thing for him he said he played hockey and basketball and in tando instead in place of study in place of homework he used to play hockey he used to play uh, basketball and in tando so his teachers told him his teacher used to tell him that patrick do your homework or you won't learn a thing if you are not practicing if you are not learning if you are not writing so it is impossible for you to learn something okay so here you can see sometime he did feel like an ignoramus okay children but what could he do he hated homework now here you can see the feeling about homework is full of hate he did not like to complete his homework so children in first paragraph you can find two new words so i will write on the board children so you can write down word meaning in this first paragraph so children take out your copy and start writing word meaning the first word is nintendo Nintendo is a game a video game a video game so these are the word meaning so write it down in your copy children because this is very important while reading this chapter now the second word is ignoramus now ignoramus ignoramus mean uh who lacks education now ignoramus and ignorant ignorant person who lacks education okay this is the meaning of ignorance it means that an ignorant person who lacks education it means those who are not uh, learning or writing or reading so that is called ignorant person who lacks education 
or in the other word you can say illiterate. So Nintendo a video game and the second word is ignoramus an ignorant person who lacks education. So uh, this is the two new words you can see in this first paragraph. Now we are moving to second paragraph. So first paragraph is talking about only and only Patrick's behavior or attitude towards education. Now here you can see that Patrick's never did homework. This is or you can say this was his habit not doing his homework. So that is why the teachers were irritated and they told him that Patrick do your homework otherwise what happened that you left ignorant person who lacks education. It means you left illiterate. You will become illiterate without education. We cannot do anything. So here the teacher used to tell him the importance of education every day. And now Patrick who liked you in first paragraph you can see who liked games, hockey, Nintendo, a video game and other games instead of education, instead of studies. So children here the you can see a problem in this child that this, this child Patrick did not like to read his books, did not write his, uh, did not write to complete his work, homework. Now we are moving to the second paragraph. That is, then one day he found his cat playing with a little doll and he grabbed it away. To his surprise, it wasn't a doll at all. But a man of tiniest size, he had a little wool shirt with old fashioned breeches and a high tall hat much like a witch's. He yelled, save me, don't give me back to that cat, cat. I'll grant you a wish, I promise you that. Now children here you can see. Because he used to play instead of reading, writing and learning. So in this day also he was playing. Then one day he found his cat playing with a little doll. And while uh, he was playing he saw that his cat was playing with a doll, a little doll. And he grabbed it away. He snatched it. To his surprise, it wasn't a doll. And what he find? What he found that that was not a doll. It was something else. So, but a man of the tiny side. What he found? He found that was uh, not a doll, but a tiniest person, tiniest uh, size person. He had a little wool shirt. Now in this paragraph you can see the description of this tiny man that uh, what you can see that he had a little wool shirt with old fashioned breeches. So breeches is a kind of trouser which having a stripe, uh, straps you can see that is called breeches. So now the little wool shirt. Now because this uh, a tiny size person because it, it was very tiny person that is why his, uh, uh, he was wearing a very small wool shirt and with breeches and a high tall much like a witch's hat. The hat this tiny person was wearing that was uh, like a witch's hat that is too tall. So he yelled, save me, 
don't give me back to that cat. That tiniest person uh, yelled, shouted, that save me. Don't give me back to that cat. I will grant you a wish. I promise you that. So he was shouting that please save me. I will fulfill your wish. Whatever you want to ask to me. So that time because his life was in danger. And he was um, you can see in the uh, captivity of cat. That is why he was so uh, afraid about that. So that is why he was shouting. Now here you can see few new words that is breeches. Okay. So first new word is breeches. So what is breeches? Breeches. So this is uh, you can say the short trouser. Short trousers, uh, so because it's a tiny person, so that is why it's a short trouser. Now, the next word is grabbed. So, children, grabbed. Next word is grabbed. Here you can see in the third line. Grab means, I am going to write on the board, write it down, grasp, or seize, seize, suddenly, suddenly and roughly. So this is the meaning of grabs, grabbed, grabs or seize suddenly and roughly. So children, two paragraph we have done and these four word meanings. First is Nintendo, a video game, ignoramus, an ignorant person who lacks education. Third is breeches, short trousers, grabbed, grasp or Seize suddenly and roughly. These are four words. So children, write it down. Now we are moving to the next paragraph that is number three. Patrick could not believe how lucky he was. Here was the answer to all of his problem. So he said, only if you do all my homework till the end of the semester, that's 35 days, if you do a good enough job, I could even get A's. So here children, now very tricky Patrick. So here children, he planned to uh, grab this opportunity because this uh, tiniest person had already gave uh, opportunity or he yeah, already gave and uh, you can say uh, a promise that if you will see, save my life, I will fulfill your wish. So that is why that was an opportunity for the Patrick to avail it. So that is why the Patrick said, Patrick could not believe how lucky he was. Now he felt fortunate himself that one person he met that he was ready to do everything for him. So that is why he said only if you do all my homework till the end of the semester. Till the end of the semester you complete. You must complete my homework. So that is 35 days. If you do a good enough job, I could even get A's. So, here you can see a wish of this boy Patrick. 
and he wanted to become first in the class. He wanted to uh, uh, score highest in the class. That is why he said, he said that if you will help me to get A's in all the subject. So this is my wish you should fulfill. Now in fourth paragraph, the little man's face wrinkled like a dishcloth thrown in the hamper. He kicked his legs and doubled his fist and he grimaced and scrawled and pursed his lips. Oh, am I cursed, but I'll do it. Now here the person, the tiny person, he was not happy at all because that was beyond his capability. Education, subjects, different kind of subject. So this, uh, this was not magic for him. This was a very, very tedious work. Very, you can see it's a very hard work for him. Very difficult work for him. So that is why he was not happy at all. And that is why here you can see the expression of this tiny person. What he did that the little man's face wrinkled like a dishcloth thrown in the hamper. He kicked his legs and doubled his fist. Now he showed his anger also. He was disappointed because here you can see the example is given. Man's face wrinkled like a dishcloth in hamper. He, he felt disappointed. And here you can see he kicked his legs and doubled his fist and he grimaced and scrawled. Now here he expressed his anger, tightened his fist and pursed his lips. He just murmured inside his lips. And what he said? Oh, am I cursed? Am I cursed? But I'll do it because I have given my, uh, you can say I have given my tongue. So that is why he must do. Now here you can see children, a few more new word. So I'm going to write on the board these four word and after that fifth word I'll write on the board. That is dishcloth. Dishcloth means a cloth used for used for <coughs> washing dishes. So this is dishcloth, this is number 5 and number 6 is <coughs> hamper. Hamper is number 6, a basket with the lid. And number seven is grimaced. Grimaced. So the meaning of grimaced is grimaced means uh, pursed his lips. Or you can say uh, his face had these expressions showing disgust.
showing disgust and anger. and disapproval so here you can say grimaced scrawled and uh, pursed his lips scrawled and pursed his lips so these three word grimaced scrawled and pursed his sleeves showing disgust and anger and disapproval so this is word meaning of these three word now we are moving to the next uh, paragraph that is number 5 and two to his word that little elf began to do patrick's homework except there was one glitch the elf didn't always know what to do and he needed help now here help me help me he'd say and patrick would have to help in whatever way i don't know this word the elf squeaked while reading patrick's homework get me a dictionary no what's even better look up the word and sound it out by each letter now children here you can see this tiny person is elf so this elf and the little elf begin to do patrick's homework because he has given the word to so this uh, this patrick that is why he started his work without willing he was not very happy so that is why he just started his work and he always he was always asking help because somewhere he just stuck off and uh, many subject because um, we are studying english hindi math science everything so a uh, elf an elf this is very uh, you can say difficult to understand these type of the subject because he was not a person of this world he was from another imaginary world and you can see there are fairy and every one is there so this is fantasy land person so that is why he was not very much aware about these subject so that is why always having uh, a doubt about many topics so that is why he just needed help and he say and patrick would have to help in whatever way i don't know this word many time just stuck i know in uh, many words so that is why the elf squeaked while reading pat so what get me a dictionary this is this is difficult to understand so give me a dictionary or bring a dictionary for me no what's even better look up the word and sound it out by each letter so he the elf wanted to help patrick but he wanted to help patrick but he wanted to patrick to do his own work while helping this elf and he used to ask dictionary but he did not read the dictionary he always tell to read this word from the dictionary to patrick so that is why here you can see in this this paragraph paragraph number 5 that here the work was started and with the help of patrick himself and this person this elf was doing his work but without help of the patrick he could not able to complete 
his homework. Now, children, today we have completed five paragraph, and I hope this is uh, understood by you. And I have explained fifth number paragraph, and tomorrow we will be continuing this uh, chapter. And uh, these word meaning you just revise it. This is your homework, and write it down in your copy. And as we are moving in this chapter, we will write more words. And after that, we will complete exercises which are given in this book. So children, I hope these spellings and word meaning you will learn. So we will meet again in our next video. Till then, bye-bye and take care.